<gasps> it's the vlog again. Whoa. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time. What is up? I'm Miles. And I'm Tony. And this is the. What's the name of this? This vlog? is. The, I don't know. This will be a first. The Nortons. Kind of the Nortons. The newly Norton vlog. Wow. Is that what okay, y'all. We literally get married in 20... 21. Sorry, one day. 21. 21. I've been saying it all day. Sorry. And we late, but we want to take you guys through the entire journey with us from now until. Wow, they get the 21 honeymoon. days. I'm out today. This was one of the suit. This was the suit. So this was our engagement suit. Suit is really nice. And um, he does everything. So. Uh, my dressmaker is Alanuko, and she is a Nigerian designer who's London based who's going to be coming down to the wedding to put the dress on me and that's when I will see it for the first time in person probably like the day before we get married which is crazy it's too, I was going to Chick-fil-A oh, okay. but it's too many cars I'm and we want a Chick-fil-A we've been dieting we've been following our meal plan and we've been keeping it real motherfucking cute and now that it's my birthday weekend we're going out to eat but we'll show you exactly what we eat because not only do we try to share the the wedding part of it we try to share everything and i feel like food is a big part of it too because whenever you get married it's like i want to get snatched from my wedding i want to get snatched from my wedding and then motherfuckers don't get snatched so i want to show you exactly how a bitch is getting and staying snatched and how mr miles is doing the same all right we just got chick-fil-a miles got a sandwich strawberry lemonade with diet lemonade i got a regular lemonade that's diet we split in a small fry and then a grilled sandwich Alrighty, so we made it to my parents' house. <laughs> There's so much going on over here. My dad is a, a uh, old school car enthusiast. So I'm about to check out his cars. Nicole got me this outfit. Look at that so pretty, pretty girl. It's hey, awesome. she done put some weight back on. She did. Okay, mommy. good, 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 good. Let me kiss my mommy, Marla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, she likes it so good. I'm officially getting butterflies. So we're about to turn into the hotel that I first met Miles at. And I really got butterflies just now. Yeah, it's right there. Right here? How do I get over there? Uh, turn Yeah, I think go through the back. Okay, Is this the best? yes. And I just thank Miles for t getting me out of Colombia and, and literally changing my entire life. It's fucking crazy. He changed my life um, uh, to the stoplight. But because I would have never left Colombia. Never. I was already 30 and I had never thought about leaving. So, but I was just saying, walking down the street, yeah, let's go to Rita's. That's where we went. Okay. Um, while, while we're driving, uh, like, you know, seeing this place is closed or this place is getting renovated, shit like that. I was like, niggas love going back to their city and being like, damn, the city went to shit after I left. Because that's how I'm acting like, oh shit, it's not there no more. Wet Willie's gone. Mm. Like, they doing bad without me. Girl, shut the fuck up. Oh, that's bad. Okay. A little weekend rendezvous. I think we're getting ready to get some steps in. My hair is gonna get all crazy with the wind, but that is okay. Cause we want some extra steps before dinner because dinner is gonna be really good. Come on, we gotta eat some, come on, hurry up. All right, we about to go sit at the bar and get some sushi. Palette. Yes, get at the bar, get some sushi, outfit check, wear some New Balance slide-ins, cause I'm an old bitch, but I still got style. I'm wearing, excuse me, okay, I'm an old lady, but I still got style. Um, I'm wearing um this outfit. Baby, can you read, where is this from? This is David Edgar. No, 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 that's oh, not Bowen T. It's Bowen T. Okay, Bowen T. Bowen T matching top and bottom charcoal. My sister got these for me. Um, my earrings and my makeup. But my eyebrows, she made my eyebrows. And so I have like a Dwight forehead. That's why I'm trying to cover it because it's like weird looking. Miles, can you please do me a fit check? Um, there, this is from some random bar in Atlanta. Fabletics pants. I love these Fabletic pants. These 2015 Jordan 1 lows with the big check. It's active socks. Should have on mild socks, but I grabbed. Yeah, where your mild socks at, bro? That's it. Represent the brand. Okay. Go. Let's go get some sushi. Okay. All right. We went with three simple rolls. No funny business. No cream cheese either. I don't think. No, no cream cheese. Yeah. 
All right, we just finished at Tsunami. A couple of simple rolls because we are going out to eat later. Don't be binge eating for no reason. Keep it motherfucking cute. What's the aesthetic with the Stanley Cup? Am I giving? Or am I not? I'm gonna leave it here because I think this shit is ridiculous, but am I giving? We're in Urban Outfitters. Sure, are these cute? I just ordered some Laura Bay glasses that should be here before the wedding. And I want to wear them in Italy for the honeymoon. And these are kind of reminding me. And I also low-key, high-key want to get like a bunch more glasses from her. But I, I just wanted to start with one purchase just to see how that experience was. All right, I literally just woke up from my nap and it is time to go. A little, uh, what you call that thing? Like something to cut this. So this is just like a house of CB. I just wanted to wear red um, for my birthday for my baby. And I've got these St. Laurent heels with the little fur on them because they're easy to wear and I like wearing mules if I know I'm gonna have to walk a little bit. So where we're going is Halls. It's a nice restaurant. Alrighty, this is the look we're giving. I feel like this eyebrow making me look crazy. Like it's so short. We'll work on that tomorrow. I'm excited. See what my baby has planned for me. Okay. Let's go see Mr. Miles. Oh, let me see your other. Uh, oh, wait. You wear Miles is wearing my favorite kind of top. It's like a muscle collar. top. You look nice, so baby. Band collar, collar. Give us a fit. College gym shoes. I need some ankles out. The reds in the shoe to match you. Some yeah. Zara pants. Yeah. And nice. Yes, period, Pooh. Come in the late. mirror with me. What's that? What? Let's say happy birthday. Yeah. It's my birthday. It's my birthday, bitch, and my birthday, bitch. Why are you giving me my gift day? Oh, it is prom. Yeah. Okay. Hello. We just came back for dinner. We had an amazing time. It was very good. My eyes, they low. I don't know, red like fire. Who knows? Baby, how was dinner? Dinner yeah, was good. It was good. We had steak, wagyu, fries, bread. Oh my God, bread. I haven't had bread that good in so long. A bitch really don't be eating just straight up bread and butter. Like that was kind of crazy. I was like, oh, tomorrow I'm not doing none of this. Fuck this. Tomorrow, I'm keeping it cute. So I'm glad we got our groceries. I think when I get a relaxer for honeymoon, because we honeymoon in for a couple weeks, and it's gonna be hot in Italy. So I'm gonna get a relaxer because I want my shit reverting. Cause I wanna swim a lot. And I was in between a relaxer or braids. But. Now let's take a look at that. We, I feel like we woke up on time. Maybe underestimated how long it was gonna take for ballet to get the car so late. And uh, how far we had to drive to a charger station. And the fact that we had to charge in general. So I told the makeup artist to be there at 6.30. We won't get home and settle until seven, so. Oh, you I told the makeup artist that 7 a.m. is our call time now. It's 7 11, so she's a little bit late. I literally got home five minutes um, before 7, so in 16 minutes, oops, I showered. I'm packing my bags now. I'm prepping my face for makeup, which is just like washing my face, putting a azelic acid on it, and. Um, Moisturizer, and now I'm about to put my sunscreen on before she puts the makeup on. All right, yeah, this is just came. Okay. All right, vlog, it's been a couple hours. I already did my work. I got my makeup done, getting ready to rinse it off now. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna wash, watch Ready to Love, and literally do nothing for the rest of the day. Eat some ice cream, make some wings for dinner. I might show y'all that. Oh yeah, I have some salmon. I have one piece of salmon, three and a half ounces, made in the air fryer. That's what Miles and I had. Then I had some ice cream, dairy-free ice cream. My favorite. It is a few hours later and I am making meal prep for Miles for the week because I totally forgot that um, I didn't have any meals prep. So I meal prep all of his meals every single day when he goes to work. And I meal prep some of my meals, but I work from home so I can usually make meals in real time. So I had to jump up real quick. I got some in the air fryer. I got some chicken wings, some salmon, and I'm gonna put some shrimp in there next. And I just made his first meal, which is chicken sausage, egg white, 
and egg muffin. So he takes four meals. He gonna take four meals with him to work. Buddy, it's Miles, and this is our Sunday. Tony meal prepped, and we've been on the couch all day doing absolutely nothing, watching, ready to love, and yelling at the TV screen. I went to the gym earlier. Tony did. She got her makeup done. Did her live thing. Just a typical laid back Saturday. She's looking at me. She wants to cry right now. Peace. It's my birthday, bitch, and my birthday, bitch. Oh, not me vlogging and getting ready to trip and fall. Anywho, I'm going to put a new battery in. All right, vlog. I'm FaceTiming my sister right now. It's my birthday. My makeup's done. I went to the gym this morning. I'm getting ready to eat breakfast. I'm going out to uh, lunch later on. My lashes are so far away from the tear duct that I don't know what's, like, my face looks so funny. But I'm not tripping. It's okay. Oh, I finished breakfast. It's so good. I had this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can open the door. It's my birthday. Ooh. It is 10.30 a.m. I did not work nearly as long as I was supposed to. You know, black people on a birthday. They, you know. You better, they better be glad you didn't take a day off. Yeah, I don't like taking days off, but we're going to go over to your house. And I'm going to watch her do her hair, which means we're going to be late for lunch. No, it doesn't. Period. All right. She was born on this day. I'm at Nicole's house. It's so beautiful here. Thank you. And now, while she does her hair, I'm gonna just get some steps in. Miles got me one of these. I'm just waiting for it to come. Oh, wow. What the hell y'all doing? What am I doing? Damn. Alrighty, I am dressed. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. My room is crazy. I gotta zip up my outfit. But yeah. The Meniere Devour definitely eats. Like whenever I want an out easy outfit that I don't have to think about at all, it is them. Cause it's usually two pieces and it's gonna snatch. Okay. Hater. Okay. Those shoes. Right. Oh my God. They're like the perfect shoe. Yeah, they're just oh so Oh my God, so they're cute. so perfect. Right? Do they hurt? No, they're not bad. You I, I've them. worn these shoes a lot. So you know I don't wear my shoes yeah. a lot. I love your outfit. Let me see your outfit. Yeah. No, I love your you outfit. You have to throw me in there. <laughs> yeah, I did throw you in there. Turn back around. Turn where I am. And you call it your pants. You call it the front and the back. Yeah. Yo, I you're made crazy. These pants this morning. I should have just got the long version instead of the extra long, but it's okay. And can you tell me your outfit, Deets? Doesn't matter. As an adult. I love your outfit. Thank you. Yeah, that was a nice. Look away. Too pretty. Yeah, I don't want to. Too pretty. Before there was there. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm good, baby. Laugh. Oh, you did. This is gorgeous. Is that nice? This is absolutely gorgeous. Not one but he was trying to like. Oh, amateur. What's this? Careful with the tape. And when you travel. Delicious. Ooh. I haven't flown out of camp. Hold on, wait. Oh. Nine months. Well, I think Bianca's only. No, she's 18 months. So, an 18 month old and a newborn. That was exciting, though, at 18. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. Yeah. Going. So, what else would you do? <laughs> I'll go to the wake office. Oh, God. <laughs> Take the kids to the free clinic. Oh my gosh. Stop playing with me, okay? Yes, <laughs> Deepa, period. Oh, Not the wig office. Mm, the wig office. That's where my kids grew up. Big and strong? Yes. <laughs> all that milk, all that cheese. And mommy, these mommy are the best like, Mommy likes size Bianca shoes. shoes more than hers. Yeah, these are the she best her size knee. shoes that you've Honey ever worn. Her are too big, <laughs> but no, the Gucci's too small. Keeps saying, I think she's walking. She said toe. they're tight, Tony. You need to break the shoes in. I think break the damn shoe in. Gonna... Alrighty, so an impromptu store trip to compare foods, which is the grocery store with my mom and my sister. Yeah, I'll take a couple. There is so much meat in this grocery store. 
go not knowing what to do. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. What the queen first time went to go get her rental car and she was like the driver. Yeah, the driver that comes with the rental car. Alrighty vlog, I am back in the house and I'm gonna put up my birthday gifts. The girls also got me some Louboutins and I'm so excited about that because they'll match my entire outfit. Things that I've learned in 33 years. Oh my God, I'm that old to be saying that kind of shit now. Uh, one thing. That shit will come. Whatever it is will come. Oh God, it will come. It will come. As much as I wanted to have everything come when I was 20, 21, 22, 23, it all came. And when it came, I was ready for it. It'll always come. It always does. No matter how long it takes. Um, shit, I don't know. That's all I got. It will literally always come. It always does. May not come when you want it, but it'll be there right on time. I tell you, he's on time, God. Yes, he is. What is two other things that I've learned in 33 years? Sneeze and say, excuse me when nobody is listening. Just have some damn character about yourself. Don't switch up. Have some character about yourself. Things that really are important to you. It don't matter who's in the room. If I sneeze, I say, excuse me. Because that's who I am. No one else has to be around to hear me say it. I know I did it. And that's enough for me. Third thing. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Cause it doesn't, it's impossible. Cannot last always. <laughs> Some shit be seeming so terrible, so end of life. And then it'll be over. And then some other shit be going on. Trouble don't last always. So keep moving. Keep your head above water. All kind of these say shit that actually means something. But yeah, that's what I've learned in 33 years. Today was an amazing, wonderful, beautiful birthday. This weekend was. It's just a beautiful life, but every single year is. Every single year is beautiful, because every single year we're here, I'm learning, I'm growing. I'm experiencing it with the people who I love the most. And I've got no corals. Good morning. Uh, it's... Say your name first. Miles. And Tony. Miles. Yeah, it's 3.20 a.m. Just a lot of talking I'm doing. And we headed to the gym. Vlog. Miles just showered before work hey. and I was on cardio on the Stairmaster then on the treadmill. It's like 520 maybe. I love it. I love it. I love it. Have a good day. Hey, yeah. have a good day. The documentary and didn't even know John Vaughn did the killer. Which is and he does have perfect so he needs to start over. Not revamp it. No, but I will wear half one. Yeah, you can. And Let's you can wear this. You can wear, if, I, if I see you in um, down to Beyonce, if you want me to lead this with you. Right. Bold. Like Good morning vlog. Okay, I'm back home. My makeup's done. I am dressed and I'm getting ready to do some work and get on live. Damn it. Good morning vlog. It is Tony. That is really bright. Okay, so 
it is Thursday morning 7 37 a.m getting ready for the cleaning ladies to come they come about once a week but you couldn't tell because our house is super super junky so the cleaning ladies are coming i've got to work then i gotta leave get some alterations to a dress that i'm going to wear this weekend and then um go get my spray tan i like to get spray tan because it makes you look very even she's selling any vip no no, it was the same floor seat. All right, my bad, y'all. Okay, so um, I think I was just saying what I needed to do today. The cleanest lady coming. I gotta go to alterations. Gotta go get my spray tan, and I'm getting my hair done. I'ma see. Um, I'm scheduled for like a regular appointment, but for honeymoon, I really want to relax my hair. I've been natural forever. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I, I never, I never put relaxers in people hair, and I never liked them for myself however honeymoon is coming up and i think my look is that signature short hairstyle i've always wanted to be that girl like that tiana taylor kind of look she can very good alteration i'm looking scary what's between my eyes anywho um oh my goodness i had to run out of the house i was on live i was working but then the cleaning ladies came and i usually try to like not be in their way because if i'm in their way that that gives them kind of a reason to move around me and i don't want to give them that reason so all right let's get tan this is what i look like i gotta take my clothes off you gotta get butt all right this is what we're looking like afterwards more all even right. less visible um, stretch marks. You see? Alright, anywho. Let's go get our hair done. Alright, let's get this hair done because it looks kind of crazy. I'm based. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's always the case though, right? Alrighty, we have set. My head feels normal. How are we looking? Oh my god, that is just so freaking adorable. Do you see what I see? Alrighty, I just made it home and I'm getting ready to quickly wash, um, see what the cleaners did, do a little bit of work before Miles gets home. It is 16 days before wedding and what I'm really feeling right now is a little bit of anxious anxiety. I always call it my anxious. So my anxious is coming from money. It all goes down over money and hoes. If anybody ever got a problem, it's one of those two issues. It's never, it's literally, it, it can't be anything else. That has been how we've just been doing everything. The way we've been doing everything is just doing every single thing. The second they send it to us, we get it out of here. No, no if, ands, buts about it. Move it out of the way. Because a lot of people, like when they get to their wedding day, they gotta bring wads of cash to finish paying vendors. No. I, like Miles, he, he didn't understand this, but like, Hey, photo photographer, makeup artist, um, designer, cake, every single thing. If they sent us an invoice, it was like, pay this on this day, this on this day, this, mm -mm, fuck that, pay it all right now. And we only pay for the things that we could afford. And we only, um, we only put up on there. Um, we only, like, if we could afford it, then we did it. If we can't afford it, then we can't do it. One thing that we said no to was a drummer. So the drummer was like, he was very, a pretty fair cost. However, he was charging like an extra one, two thousand dollars to rent his drummer set. So when it came to stuff like that, it was like, nah, that's not worth it to us. Get it out of here. Anybody for stationary. Fucking stationary is not finished. Stationary is not finished because you got to wait for your wedding guest list to be finished because a lot of our stuff has our wedding guest name on it. So that's really important. They weren't able to finish it and we're still waiting on stationary. Stationary is a pretty big bill. The amount of stationary we have at the wedding. Another thing we can't pay for the fucking food. So I forced Miles to tell them to let him get um because they wanted to pay half then half 10 days before the wedding that's a huge bill that's like one of the biggest bills so he was able to put three payments down but the last payment is the one that we're waiting on it's the second biggest payment hurry this shit the fuck up because as we get closer to the end of the wedding the more the little things start to come in the more the details so in my head, we would have been finished paying for the wedding. We could like focus on the honeymoon. We could focus on like, you know, other shit. Like Miles and I, we both own property. You know, I, I buy like investment properties with my family and stuff like that. And we business owners. So 
I'm not pressed on us having a house. I started <laughs> selling real estate when I was 18. I own my own real estate company at 21. So our goals aren't necessarily to purchase a home together, our forever home. Um, we're just more into traveling. Shit, I want to travel. I've been responsible my entire life. Miles been his, responsible his entire life. No mortgage, no nothing. Just like very, very responsible people. So it's not about being able to pay for the wedding so we can pay for like a home. It's more like, how are we going to stop paying for a fucking wedding so I can pay for something else? Even though we have paid for other stuff. We already paid for... And with it coming so close, it's not like, ooh, I'm going to wait till I get my check and then I'm going to pay them on that day. It's like, pay them because your wedding is next week. You cannot afford to push them out anymore. Um, and they're the ones who push yourself out. Good morning. Fuck. coming back from, um, I think Danny's back to the ball game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah.
tight. Why? What up, vlog? It's Miles, and we are at Lenox Square Mall. Tony got it. Makeup Slade. Period. We're at the mall because I am a song lyric liver. Drake said, wrote these verses with my Cartier pen. Do they sound different? So for the wedding, I want to get a Cartier pen. So when we sign our wedding license to make it official, is it a Cartier pen? Does that make me bougie or fake? Yes, it sounds cool. And I'm going to tweet the lyrics when I'm signing my wedding vows. And I also want to get like, they got a good um, men's, what is it called? Men's sampler set with the really good fragrance. Oh, yeah. Saw it on TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. Not TikTok made me buy it. Okay. Bye. Alrighty. In the dressing room at Burberry. Not gonna wear matching bathing suits when we're on vacation, so Burberry this way. Beyonce said that was you can Jay-Z. You know, can't fight the rules. Anywho, let's try it on. Too big of bottoms. Do you feel jacked up? Uh, we are at True Food Kitchen and I'm so excited about lunch. This place feels like a perfect place to go if you're someone who like is a little bit health conscious and definitely wants to go out and still enjoy your food without being like, damn, I fucked up my diet, now I gotta restart. Um, Miles and I got edamame dumplings to begin with, and then I got a poke bowl and he got a burger, and I'm just so excited. When we get to the hotel, hotel opens at two or three, I think it's three, but we're gonna try to check in a little bit after two, um, and go to the hotel, uh, go to the gym. So the, we're staying at Nobu Hotel, and they have the Nobu restaurant, so we don't have to go anywhere. If we could gym, tan laundry, that would be good. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. And we just um, are waiting to get something to eat. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love Atlanta personally. It's one of, it's like my favorite place. I love Atlanta. I don't care about what nobody say. Atlanta is lit. Every time I come here, I always feel really pretty. And people are always so nice. And it's just a good vibe. So here's Miles. There you go, yeah. We're at True Kitchen. I got the turkey burger. It's had a really good. Here's our edamame. That was fast since the most popular entree. I think it's gonna be a good day. Thank you so Time to very eat. Much. Peace. Burger and sweet potato hash and Tony Poke Bowl. Oops, but yeah, you did spend. Did I spend money today? No. No. Anyways, so let's go work out. Oh, yes. I'm gonna hit some shoulders, um, a little bit of glutes, and might walk on the treadmill for a couple of minutes. Keep it really motherfucking cute. Let's go. <gasps> wow. Nicole's here. Let me look a little. All righty. We're at the Nobu Hotel. We're on the seventh floor. Follow me. <laughs> Baby. Ooh, yes. Room tour. That is just a wardrobe. Oh, yes. I don't even mini bar rich. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're uh, get dessert at the end of the night. That's where we're, but still not mini bar rich. Oh, mini bar yes. is a different. That's a level. Different level. Just eat anything you want from the mini bar. Could we come this way? Check out a view. Oh, they come. Oh, we can count. That's is that the city? Don't think that's the city. Oh, you gotta. Okay, now nah, that might be the city. You gotta scratch that imagination. Now nah, that's a, yeah. You gotta that's stretch right. that imagination now. But it's a nice high floor. I like. Yeah, this is nice. It's, you know, last time we had an ADA room, so it was a real big bathroom. It's still nice out there, from. Yes. Still, the problem will the water go down the drain mm. and not out here. It's a really nice, pretty room. I love Nobu. Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. Why? Because Atlanta's a little bit, it's my favorite city, but it is a little bit, you want to watch where you stay, some places you stay. We used to stay at one hotel all, all the time. And but then, cash? no, ask him if he got cash up, baby. Coming. Um, we used to stay at one hotel all the time, but then they, um, it started getting ratchet. I think they sold out. Yeah, this, it started getting weird. It's, it's getting weird, but I need that Rolex, Coming. like Nene said. <laughs> so, that's okay, but the girls are here. Keela is the last to arrive, and Bianca is the last to go get her makeup done, but the makeup girl is about five minutes away. So, I think we have... How much time? This is Nicole's room. This TV says Nicole's name. The lady is mistaking our faces. 
okay. Uh, well, hopefully that's not an issue, but this lit this TV literally says my little sister. That's the only thing about having the same damn name. After a small kerfuffle, this we've got our room worked out. And my we're trying this again. Come on, we're just everyone sitting on one this time. But upgrade, I think they mean the same room. But that's good. We had a closet. This is someone else's room again. Or Mr. Campbell was here. What they told Mr. Campbell? Let's read Mr. Campbell notes. And they gave us three water. I'll take that. Yes. Okay. So um, the young. It says what? Dear Mr. Campbell, I'm supposed to stay in here, and then we in a room instead. Oh. Now the question is. Do we eat it? Cause she was like, oh, I'll send housekeeping up there to take care of it. Nah, bitch, go ahead and leave the extras. Right. Leave the extras. That's our water, not that. I'll lick on that. Leave the extra water that we ain't gotta pay for. Leave Mr. Campbell's information. And they gave him, Mr. Campbell, a walk away water. A complimentary water. <laughs> I like being Mr. Campbell. We had one of them too. Oh, we did? Okay. Well, he got the extra, extra water. Call me Mr. Campbell. <laughs> what time is it? Um. Oh, it's late. It's 5.30. It's 4.30. It's 3.30. Oh, it's 3.30? Yeah. We got enough time. That's all late. All right. Good night. Who has come over to my hotel room to lay my hair? Thank you. I thank you. Come thank to you. Do any of those things. Oh, I thought you came to do my hair. Are you doing your hair? No, I'm going to come in to do your hair. And that was from just my... Just mold just the top. Just the top. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to tell you. In the back. Hey, I was itching to lay it, make it flat. And we're... Mm hmm Mm-hmm. So cute. Wow, oh, you are very so pretty. You look, oh my God, you alone. Take me out of it. Wow, must be nice. God's favorite, is that right? Why is this shit so blurry? I'm sorry. Yeah, it got the filter on it. Got heavy. <laughs> no room having the T3 blow dryer for me. Okay. Out the shower, getting ready to do some my hair, put on my jewelry, and then head downstairs. We hired a film photographer, my sister did, because she loves film photography, just to come with us for like a couple hours and just take some good film photos because those are so fun. But I'm just trying to like get my hair looking not so flat. Just wanted to give y'all an update, getting ready to go to Nobu. Let's do a fit check up top. Got the LV Millionaire Shades. This is a really nice, like, oversized top from Zara. These pants are also from Zara, and these boots are from Zara. I never was a Zara shopper before. Went to Paris, the Zara there was amazing. So this fit came together nicely. I took a risk when I bought these big oversized pants, and they fit these big boots, and just a little extra chrome hearts chopsticks for dinner. Eating sushi at Nobu, chrome heart chopsticks just feel right. Tony got me for these. We give like Friday gifts to each other. So this is one of my Friday gifts she got me. Her sister went to Chrome Hearts in Vegas and she got some really nice stuff. I'm like, yeah, see they got chopsticks. Just a little accessory, just something to have and keep. Oh, let's check out the wrist. So we got Balenciaga, uh, Louis, and the random Amazon, and my Sigma band. I got a more fancy one. I'm just rocking with this one because she's trying to keep some up. Tony will be here in a second to give you her, her fit check. She's wearing all red, looking real devilish, but I love it. Do my That's smart. Alrighty, you guys. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing this red cuckoo fit that I got from my sister. Then I have some Laura Bay glasses. These Fendi earrings I keep abusing because one's silver and one's gold and it's easy to wear. My necklace, my um, bracelet that Miles got me, well, my tennis bracelet for Christmas, and some Gianni. I can't remember. These are like Gianni heels, but they're super cute. But yeah. Went with a devilish little red because, oh, we're going to the bodeo tonight. <laughs> Come here, Papa. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like the glasses make it like a bad girl, bad gal. Yeah. Well, by early, I mean we're the first ones here. And then we'll take all together okay. when everyone's in the middle. Yeah, I love yeah. this. Girl. Thank you. Yeah, this Thank you so very much. Thank you. Hello. Good. Thank you. You look incredible. Oh my goodness, Thank your makeup you. looks great too. Say hello. I'm trying to vlog. Hey. We are here hey, at Nobu getting ready for Tony's Bachelorette. Right up you know, you know. The Bodio. You know, right now, we're just getting a little dinner with the fellas. But yes. later, we're going to see what little thing. Oh my God. Hey, how you doing? You look That's so good. That's the dress that I wanted to I wear. No, you look. Yeah. Look at where we at. <laughs> a little Bodio. Oh, we're opening up. 
that thanks. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's Give me sweat. <laughs> All night. <laughs> what shade is it? I think she said it's sheer, so it'll just match. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, that says right. Oh, you even better. That is perfect. Let me thank you. Right now, it's time to eat. I want to keep you guys updated. Okay. Oh, yes. Cheers. It lights up. All the girls are wearing this um, thing. Okay. More love, more laughs, more light. Yes, get into that. Chili and sea bass. That was a sea bass. Okay, hey, baby. So, how was dinner? Dinner was great. We had a lot of variety, a lot of food. It was a really good time. We had a lot of good vibes, a lot of great energy. Somebody's behind us. Yes, absolutely love dinner. Can't wait to do it again. No, 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 no. Thank you. Nicole, you did good. Okay. I'm dressed. I'm dressed. I'm dressed. Okay. I'm dressed. I'm dressed. I'm dressed. I'm dressed. Okay. Bye. Oh, wait. Where's the hell my hat? Aftermath of the Bodio with the girls. I didn't even want to come home with no money. They made me. They, they said, stop ordering money and go ahead and come home with it. The bride stash, the daggone shoes, wop-sided. All right, you guys, it's about 5 a.m. getting ready to go home. We were expected to go home super early, but I just kept my makeup off from last night so I could go straight into work. I'm gonna put on my I'm gonna put on my work outfit and then we're about to wrap this bad boy up because we do have to charge the Tesla and that takes a couple minutes, but that's okay. When we get home, we get home, we'll work and then I'm I still got my VIP badge on. Oh, how was the Bodio? <laughs> awesome! I just finished telling miles about it. It was really, really, really fun, exciting. Definitely a must do, if you must. Especially if you're someone who doesn't like know exactly what to do for a bachelorette. It's like a built-in fucking thing. Just go. Just take some money and throw it. You don't always have to like, whenever girls go to the girls strip club, like, you know, cause I've been in those clubs before. That's always like a weird flex to me. It's, I don't like, I don't know. Unless you really like them, you don't have to go to one of those. Just go see a meal review. It's funny, it's fun, it's a key key, and it's like a really good positive environment. So please go, go support the guys. <laughs> They're really good. Very talented, right? Yeah. Anywho, I'm still tired. We got in really late because there was an accident on the highway. It took like an hour to get home, but that's okay. Okay, I'll talk to you guys when we get home. So we'll miss your miles. All right, bye. Hello, Moto. Halfway home, had to stop for some charge. Tired, even more tired when I realized that we have to go and um, to dance rehearsals, which is an hour and a half, in a couple hours, and um, get my suit fitted after that. And I just ordered groceries online so I can make not only meals for today, but meals for the work week. And then we have to go to Miami for a one day turnaround so Miles can get his global reentry, but we're gonna be down there for a night. Miles, you wanna say hello to the vlog? Good morning, vlog. I'm about to take a quick nap. Peace. Good night. What up, everybody? It is Miles, and it is about 1.05 p.m. on Sunday. We're getting ready to go to dance rehearsal. So for our wedding, we decided, hey, we don't wanna do a traditional first dance where you just kinda box waltz or do something crazy. So we got something very, very special planned we'll take you along with us i'll say how much time that you see but we have a really good dance instruction this is our second in-person instruction earlier this week we did a virtual dance instruction and then the thursday before our wedding we have our last and final rehearsal tony will tell you she's not a big dancer but that first practice she caught on very quickly i call myself a dancer my thing is she says i'm a teacher learner so i learn and i automatically try to teach so today i'm going to be more listening want to crisp up on those moves. I've been in a couple step shows, so I know what it's like to be performing in front of people. I just want to make sure, hey, you got to practice how you're really going to play. So come with us. Nothing. I didn't bring you around early enough. All right, y'all, it is time to dance, dance, dance. Revolution. Dance revolution. Pretty much got you. know the first 75%. The last 25%, this is what we're really here for, That's so we could just attack that. 
Yeah. That's when you don't want to mess up because I feel like if we mess it up, we're gonna end up looking like old people. Yeah, it can look. It can look old. I don't want to look old. No, we got eighty percent. We got eighty percent. Got eighty percent. Because we know how to start it. it. We know how to start it. Yeah. And, and it's till we have to sync up. The and sync up is the where sink. it goes. We know the pieces. We got to put it together right. Make a puzzle. Yeah. We know the movements. It's just to get the the timing together. The right. timing. So I feel good about it. This one, I think we're really just gonna focus on the last part of the dance and then our final rehearsal, which is two days before the wedding. Yeah, two days Thursday. Yeah, we'll probably just like, okay, how are we gonna add all of the I flavor to it? Where should no, I had no neck in the whole beginning part. <laughs> I'm so tired. I ain't got no. Come on. Here's our instructor. She's incredible. Hi. They what was do you think? working today. They was working today, okay? Real hard. Real hard. Oh, what do you think? Do it now. That's what I don't want my house to start over. Look, I think, I, I think I we got one more. I think we got it. Tired. Tired. So this That's one okay. It's going to be incredible. We're catching on. We're just like perfecting everything. Can't show you just yet, but very soon. And Alrighty, Miles, you got yours too. Can't show it. Are you excited? Yes, I went to my friend Guantanamo. He's been buying clothes for him for years now. So I was like, hey, yeah. So I was like, hey, what I'm gonna do for the reception? I'm a guy. We never get the shine during the reception. Tony has a beautiful suit for the second part. So yo, you know what? Let me go get something custom for the reception. So that's what I did. I can't wait for y'all to see. It's gonna kill him. Never been before done. It came out way better than I expected. Hello vlog. It is yet another day. It's the following day. It is Monday. Miles and I had our rehearsals yesterday for a dance. Getting ready to go to Miami today. I forgot but we're going to Miami our flight got pushed back to almost nine o'clock so we're gonna go to Miami check into our hotel we're staying at the Nobu Hotel um just because we wanted a hotel that was close to the beach because we only have a couple hours in Miami and Miles really wants to see the sand so we're gonna go to the hotel go straight to bed we're gonna eat all our meals at home right now before we leave and then wake up go to the beach go to the gym. We're still going to wake up at our regular hour, 4 or 5 a.m. Get on live, go do some work. After that, go to his appointment at the airport, which is like 11 o'clock. Leave the appointment, good Lord willing that it doesn't take too long. Go to the store. We want to see Chrome Hearts, and I think that's like we have an appointment for there. Nothing other, no other stores are necessary, but Miles has never been in the design district at Miami, so he really wants to see it. I am from Miami. Um, I was born and raised there, but I, I don't spend a lot of time in Miami, but I do go back pretty often. I guess I do travel there enough. So, um, I love the design district. It's so nice. Um, so we're going to just go check it out and then be back for our flight at like 4 p.m. Get back home and keep going with regular scheduled programming. So today, right now, what I'm doing is just washing my shirt. I want to wear, like since we're going to Chrome Hearts, we're kind of corny, so I'm going to wear my Chrome Hearts outfit, the same outfit that I wore to Dreamville, actually. So I wore this outfit on the first day of Dreamville. It was so cute, like little chrome shirt and bottom and like some shoes, some Gucci shoes that's just adorable because it's going to be so hot in Miami. So I'm washing that outfit, working, 2 o'clock. I'm getting ready to eat some ice cream. Miles is coming home. I have to make dinner for us, but I have to go with my sister to the tailor so we can get her dress altered and three or four of my dresses altered for the wedding weekend and get back home in time to see my man because I don't like to not be home when he gets home. All right, y'all. I'm in the car. Young B picked me up. Are you excited about the wedding? I am very That's my excited. Sister. I love my dress. I'm excited to get it tailored so I can step through, girl. I know yes. the bride gonna look good, but I'm gonna look good too. She was gonna do that anyways. Yes. All right, so come along with us. Yes. Where did she get hers from? No, no, no. They're coming oh, in the mail to you. Ready? So one of my dresses I'm going to get clean because I got some makeup on it, trying it on. This dress I need taken in severely. This dress I need taken in semi severely. Guess who's not going to Miami? <laughs> Our flight keeps getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back till there's almost no trip. Hello vlog, guess where we are not? Miami, okay. So today is Tuesday, our flight to Miami got canceled. Um, so Miles and I are gonna do some other wedding related stuff. Wedding related stuff we're gonna do, we're going to go pick up our, um, go to the cleaners or the alterations guy. He's gonna, um, 
altar mile suit and my bridal robe i'm gonna show miles my bridal robe because i'm not gonna see him in it so i think it's okay for him to see it bridal robe is only for the pictures only for the vibe so i just want to make sure um i just want to make sure that it fits perfectly and so they'll edit it for me if necessary and then i got it made um by amazing robe designer that i'm going to tag below but uh, she contacted me after one of my videos went viral and she made it for me for free, which is crazy. So in return, I purchased five or six more robes for her for the entire wedding party. That was already on my expense list. And then when she came to me and said, hey, I want to make you something free. I was like, oh, snap. Yes, please. Thank you. And then also let me buy all the girls something, too. So the girls have their robes. And then she even threw in a free robe for Miles, which is incredible. Cheetah print. Rawr. Oh, it is good cheetah morning, print. Everybody. Good morning. It's afternoon. I'm sorry. It's the afternoon. It is Tuesday, May 2nd. Just 11 short days away before I get married to this beautiful lady right here. And I just want to tear up and cry. I got. I can't show you with this. This is a one-on-one -on -one custom. I'm killing with this. That's Over custom. the rehearsal dinner, Tony forced me. So I got a black tux. But I'll get it edited because I'm going. I'm channeling my inner Carmelo Anthony. He wore a pair of shoes recently with a black suit, but mine's gonna be black suit with black shirt under. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get, the, see I wore this, I can't even show you the shoes because it'll give it away. It'll give it I away. I wore the style of shoes I'm wearing for that day so they can, I want them a little short and then just bring them. You brought them with you? Yeah. Okay. But I have my shoes on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just spring the waist in a little bit and I'm good. I'm gonna finally wear my fancy brooch we got in Paris. Yes. Why am I supposed to wear our brooch? Can you wear no. more than one? No, you or cannot wear get, two brooches. What does we get tacky? I don't think I never see nobody wear. You a Libra? I think you can wear wear one. two brooches. Wear one on each side. I'm gonna wear our custom one. Yeah. In the little hole. Then yeah. Further down. I like. What not to do? Um, I guess since we've had a plan this entire time, it's been very low stress, not a lot of anxiety. But even if a little bit comes my way, I'm like aggravated. So I'm really glad we got a planner because even a little bit of questions, I don't like answering questions. Even a little bit of questions kind of gets on my nerves. <laughs> Even a little bit. A little bit. I'm like, I don't know. Because the planner is, they're low-key gatekeeping everything. <laughs> That's a great thing about having a planner. You don't have to do nothing. But also, you don't know nothing. I don't even know what my wedding dress looks like. Like, I don't know anything about this wedding. Like, I know. But we said from the beginning, our number one goal was just to pay for the wedding. It was not to plan it and pay for it and be on top of people's shoulders. It was only to figure out how to pay. And we have done that job. So now with the wedding coming so close, there's a couple details that people need that I really just don't have. I don't I don't know. And I don't know doesn't suffice and it's kind of like bitchy and it's almost like, well, what you want me to do? But what I'm saying is pull up on wedding day, everything will pull up together. Because I feel very confident in the planners and everything has come together really well. Nice, baby. Nice to Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I shorted them. I shorted them. Ooh, that's all. Okay, good. All right, T-Blog, we are in the Z-Mall. Say hello. Mall of me. Mall of man. Whoa, why did I say it like that? I have no idea. Because you said it like that. Yeah, I did. We tried very unsuccessfully to find me some wedding shoes, so with 11 days to the wedding. <laughs> I don't even know what my suit looks like anymore. No, you don't. Yeah, they told me, like, yeah, you should probably come up there and have our custom tailor do it. I'm like, all right. Damn, they wanted you to come up there? No, when it gets here. Yeah, our wedding is a surprise wedding. It's a surprise to us and everybody else there. With my shoes, I just tried on a bunch of shoes. What I thought would happen has happened. My feet is big. I rarely can go into a store and find my size. I wear about like a 10 and a half, 11, which is difficult, especially in um, a lot of these designers that cut small. So, Colby, my stylist, she's gonna try to source some shoes that I think are is gonna be perfect online. And now it's about just quickly paying for them and having them ship it out as soon as possible. So, fingers crossed. Either way, I mean, I'm gonna have shoes on what a day. I would like them to be a particular kind of shoe. If they're not, they'll be payless. I don't care, but I'm wearing some <laughs> shoes. And, so they can be payless. And, yeah, I got to put some shoes on. Right, Mr. Miles? That's right. He know the vibe. Yeah, Nobody would know. Nobody would know. Nobody. I, I, like, well, I'm saying that I don't know how long my dress is. Yeah. So my dress could be real long or it could be real short. Real short. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's surprise wedding. It's not a maxi wedding. dress, so. Yeah, it's not a maxi dress. We hope. 
we hope it's a surprise it's gonna be a good surprise so yeah now we're going to the jewelry store that we got the um gifts from to pick them up Alrighty guys, we just got back into the car from the mall and what happened when we went to go pick up our wedding gifts? I wanna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So our salesperson said, yeah, we do engraving. Meaning they do engraving, not that the engraving is included with your watch. I don't went straight with the manufacturer, which is Cartier, and they would engrave it and send it to my house and it'd been there in three days. My watch was there, I took it home, I had to bring it back to get engraved. So I just a little bit of uh, I wouldn't say deception. I think the salesperson, a really good salesperson, excellent sales, knew a lot about the watch. But when I had to pull up my car today to pay for it, I'm like, they even went and talked to them. No, no, you got to pay. I'm like, so why would you tell us that it was free or that it was included? Yeah, a bigger part a of deception. our wedding gifts, especially since we're giving each other something that we know, was like, okay, let's get it engraved. And then we kept that a secret. Engrave it if we went straight to Cartier, which we just did. You guys were there. We we were planning on going to Atlanta anyway, so we could have went straight to the store. We got have got the watches from them. Um, could have used a salesperson, because I personally like to go to stores so I can get a relationship with the store, get my own salesperson, and I like to do that. But in this case, we said, oh, our mall sells the watches. Let's go see. So when we tried it on, we told her we were going to go to the store for the engraving. She's like, engraving? <laughs> we do engraving. Don't worry about that. But we we're like, okay, because they do it and it's included. She's like, <laughs> engraving? We do engraving. We not listening to the words enough. Yeah. She said, we do engraving. She didn't say engraving is free. And that's where she kind of threw us off because we went to pick it up. Normally, one of us just would have picked it up real quick, snatched it up. We was there together, and it was like, all right, it's going to be almost $250 for both of them. Not a lot of money, especially compared to how much the watches cost, but at the same time, like, huh? What you mean I owe you money? I gave you money. You need to drive. Go ahead. Bitch. Anywho, I gave you money. Yeah. I didn't come up here with no money today, not for you. And so we told her, we were like, hey, oh, yeah, this is... um." here yeah. we were like yeah our salesperson I, I think it's supposed to be included or maybe we paid for it already because we paid for it when we bought them we bought them we had to wait for them to get we already had to we bought it we had to wait for them to get it get your watch yeah. get my watch so it wasn't even available immediately like it would have been at the store think, in atlanta i think my being in the store is what kind of triggered the, the yeah market. i know Whoa. that ain't genuine that's our spot hold on all right, Virginia, we love it. I'm gonna get um, at our regular location. We go to this one all the time, but not this location. And the way that they're talking about the menu, I'm like, I'm just trying to make sure she know we getting the happy hour yeah. version. Don't bring that chicken. It got full prices on it. Bring that happy hour. The combo's interesting. So the, here they offer a. Uh, a combo and the combo is pretty interesting. You get the bowl and they have the option to have three pieces of chicken and a salad, which is another eight dollars, which is yeah, which is about good. good. But if you get the two appetizers, you get five and a full salad. So you save three with two pieces of chicken. Yeah, Give two. me the chicken. I think British chicken is pretty nice. It's right by South Park. So if you've ever been by South Park in Charlotte, there's one, the one uptown. They go there all the time, you know it's by name almost. Alrighty, we are back home. It is 6.13, so we gotta go to bed in an hour. Um, so we're just gonna lay down on the couch, watch TV. Hopefully tomorrow is an easy peasy day. We'll pack up the bags for the wedding weekend tomorrow because we're a little tired now. And yeah, um, a little full too. And then that's it, call it a day. I'm cold. Cold? Yeah. Call Got it a day. Got my robe, it's time to lay on the couch. You already know the vibe. Good morning vlog. It Love is. Love. What's today? Wednesday hump day. <laughs> Usually the music loud as hell in the gym, so you can't hear nothing. And we're always the first people in the gym. At our gym, we beg for early, um, for early entrance. So we come in, we work out um, a couple minutes before everybody else. But the way Miles wake up is crazy to me. It's been two years of these kind of wake ups, and I'm still not used to it. His alarm goes off and he gets up. He don't press news. 
I have to press snooze at least once. Because like I set my alarm earlier than I need it. I never need my alarm right when I it's supposed to go off. I always need it like 10 minutes later. His alarm, if he set it for 3.15, it's a 3.15 wake up. So every day, every single morning, I hear the alarm. I be thinking like, okay, I got a couple extra minutes. No. When I hear the alarm, he get up. I stay in the bed for as many minutes as I can, but it only takes him about four to six minutes to get ready for the day. More weight. Good morning, vlog. It is Tony of Newly Norton, right? Is Miles playing that song? Who's playing that song? I don't know what he has planned, but I'm like, what do you want? And then he's like, yeah. But then he's like, actually put on those purple heels and that white romper that I just got for my birthday from my sisters and my mom. And I was like, what? What? You know what I'm talking? Like, what? These are heels. It's the middle of the day. He, he, he told me to throw some Louboutins on and a really short romper that I showed you guys. I was like, you, you want me to put that on? So I put a little bit of pump up to my hair and Madison put a little bit more purple on my eyes because the man has requested that we wear white and purple. I don't know what he got planned, but he said be ready by the 11.30 hour. So I done pulled out a little outfit, a little backup outfit too. The BB. The Lorve little the um designer dupe of the Cartier ring. It's just so cute. I like wearing it. It is May 6th, exactly one week for our wedding. Tony has a surprise in store. She has no idea. Oh my god. Can't tell her she doesn't know anything. She thinks I'm proposing. I am not worried. Really <laughs> the ring's already on. So we're yes. going out. Yes. She got dressed. She's wearing her purple accessories. Yes. Oh, she doesn't have her shoes on. Okay, you know, I'm nervous. I don't really love surprises. Knows. Everybody knows you gotta. Put your flip flops on to walk to the car. Okay, vlog. I think it's like an AIDS walk or something, but Miles had to let me out of the car. And now he just told me to walk, and I guess he'll catch up with me later. Yes. All right, I'm outside of LaBelle Helene, just waiting for Miles now. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, wait. I'm so late, you guys. I am at a surprise bridal shower. Yay! Wow, how am I so late? What was happening? Hmm. I was laying on the couch watching TV. Yeah, oh, she did too. She wow. came from Bridgeboro. Wow, Nicole wow. Pryor's hour. Are you wasn't okay. supposed to say nothing? Probably was. Why? Why? Okay. Okay, I'll just shut up. So many surprises, so little time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Give her a little noogie. Okay, this was absolutely incredible. The girls totally surprised me along with Miles. I'm just overjoyed with love. I'm gonna go over my booty, lady, but they literally got me like the perfect, perfect, perfect bridal shower and a cake. I'm gonna eat that. Oh, um, it got my name on it. Literally, my new name on it. So, all right, see you guys in a few. Okay, bye. I love you. I love you. Well, vlog, I don't think that I uh, captured nothing. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to insert as I can. However, that was just so incredible. Uh, huge surprise. Um, Going up. All of my bridesmaids, except for one, my sister who lives in Texas came. My friend girl came. Um, of course, my mom came. Miles' mom and his aunties came, and it was just so beautiful. And the girls did the most thoughtful gifts. Um, I'm a huge fan of, like, the entire wedding, and I've been saying it since the beginning, it's just like an ode to all the black women that I love. So it, when it comes to, like, girlfriends, we get a lot of girlfriends quotes and or energy, um, brown sugar. So at one moment in brown sugar, if you've ever seen it, she gets a gift in, like, a Tiffany's box, like, Oh my God, so there's, it's, it's like an awkwardness where Sid doesn't know what to gift to this really fancy lady. So she comes to the party with a pink box while all the rest of her girlfriends got the memo and she got all the rest of the girlfriends gave her Tiffany's. So she got a pair of black leather thongs for her, um, 
for her own girl, um, for the girl who's getting married. And she was like, honeymoon night only. And so Nicole made that moment happen. And it's just so funny and it's so beautiful. And then afterwards, we came up to Nicole's house, all of us included, Nicole's boyfriend and my fiance, Miles, you guys know, and she's just hanging out. So now everyone's gone except I'm still at Nicole's house with just the boys. And so I can download with Nicole, who is the maid of honor, who is just like an incredible little baby sister who does so very much just because she just loves doing. Okay, so let's go back. Hello. Love you. Love you more. So what do you say about today, Mr. Miles? Not Mrs. Cammy, Miss Cammy. I told her it was a surprise and you got all nervous. Yes. Was, was it not? Did you like it? I don't know I, what it was. I love this surprise. I knew yeah. about the planning. I said, my instructions were to get her dress, yeah. drop her off. Hey, you did that. Yep. Yes, you did. Barely. I couldn't. <laughs> not I had a race. <laughs> now, to the woman of the hour. Yes. Okay, t tell me what was the inspiration? What what was tea? What, what happened? What was the inspiration? What did happen? Why? Um, hey Siri, turn it down by yeah. three. Yeah, let Siri do her thing. She probably gonna be like, hold on a minute, I can't do it. Anywho, what was the inspiration? I don't know. You were getting married. You told us you hadn't had a bridal shower before. Correct. Or you we Never didn't do anything for you, so I was like, yeah, bridal shower. And yes, Miles, people need to come because you said that. That, that was something that was important to yes. you. So I wanted to hit that, hit that. Um, we chose La Belle Helene because it was nice and it had a nice room. But it was between that and Miko in the Grand oh, Bohemian. So but it would have been dark. It would have been dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you know, it would have been dark. Which could have been moody. And empty. Yeah, it could have been moody, but it would have been empty. So La Belle Helene was a great option. And yeah, just wanted to give you a nice bridal shower with actual gifts and things yeah, like that. Yeah, you guys really showered. Yeah, we did. All the things that you would maybe need. I had every single thing I need. I'm going to go through my bounty right here. Mr. Miles. Yeah, please like show Mr. Mouse and Mr. Please. Dylan. Yeah, please. Mr. Dylan. Now, well, how does it feel having such a bad motherfucking bitch? Who really puts it together in this she's, way? She's the one. Oh. She's, the she's the one. one. So loving and just that's one thing that just makes it Baby. awesome about her she just to be able to have people you're so so sweet. oh don't please because she's so sweet to me okay oh. sister. this is from your sister from miles sister and she got us the nice ones yep she got us the They're super huge. nice ones Honey, okay, so this is Miles' favorite gift to give people. Not at Tiffany's glasses. Did you show Dylan? Oh, I'm so sorry, Dylan. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 You only have eight minutes. Only I have eight minutes. Thought, so thought. these are super nice I ones. Honeymoon night only. Honeymoon night only. That's literally what she got. That's what she moment. got. Yes. So that's what we like to give people what we give them that, uh, you know, the, 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 the tear down. The tear down. The tear down. So your sister, she spent a bag, and we love it. We love to see it. This is my honeymoon, um, this is my wedding scent. So my wedding scent, because I did not know I was gonna steal someone else's perfume. I'm going to lather up in Chanel number five. Bless you, my sweet love. And, and you are sneezing in your hand. That's a wild thing to do. Sometimes you. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray it down. And I'm, this smells so Show Dylan. good. Dylan, yeah. this smells so oh, good. I'm trying to run through, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know Chanel was just smart. I should be wearing Chanel number five on my way. No, I'm wearing Chanel number five on my way. I'm wearing Chanel number five. It's just a, oh, it's such it. a moment. This Joe so Malone from Bianca, this three seat um, combo. I'm going to wear this every single day. This is an everyday. Don't get her anything else. Don't get me nothing else. You already wear this. Right, I do, wear but I, yeah, and I'm putting it on top of everything. This. <laughs> Booklet from Dior. It's a journal. It's a journal and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna write in this on honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Honeymoon is going down. I'm sorry, boys. I'm not showing you guys anything. Here, uh, we'll here, see, here. We'll here. It's a journal. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mommy had to uh, put these back up. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Mm -hmm. I've got six minutes. Six minutes. Six La minutes. La Perla. Oh, I'm gonna keep these okay. out there. Mm, 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 mm. No, what was this? Honeymoon night. Oh, God. Only. Honeymoon night. Only. Where with my whip? Where with my whip? I'm okay. so embarrassed. What is honeymoon night? It's from brown sugar. It's from brown sugar. Uh, yeah, so that's happening. That is just so perfect to go. Okay. And I tried to mimic the box. It, it wasn't. Yeah, you mimicked the box so well. 
this is just perfect for actual honeymoon for tanning so i can be tan you see you see you show, see? This, so show him nice. that i do i just think that yeah it so says nice. i do on the front so it's like it's somebody's oh, butt cheeks yeah. it's i do and a booty i do and a booty so it's so perfect it's so sweet so thoughtful this is for you miles for the plane show Hubby, wow. wifey. I love that. This is a little bit. cheesy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're that cheesy. We'll, we'll wear a tag. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's a company that Nicole got to give it to us for free. Yep. So we will wear and we will tag. Yes. Yep. So I got to wear a brown top on the plane? But that's yep. a cute aesthetic. That's too, nice, though. So with those shoes, Look, girl. Maybe? Yeah, that's wear those shoes, up. Miles. Yes. The that's for you. One. You fucking know. Hey, who was yep. in the you No, know, I know you know. And you know I know. And my garter. And they want everything. But I'm not going to show Miles. This is my garter to wear at the wedding. I didn't have one. Yeah. I don't I don't know where I thought I was going to get yeah, one. Yeah, don't show him yet. Yeah. Wait, you're supposed to manage to show up? I have no idea, like, how it all works. This, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This is from Kiwa. Now, this I wear on the special day. The song? The, ba the Baccarat. This oh, I wear. This, this is from Kiwa. She knows. Wow. Wow. Real deal. She knows. She knows. She knows. This is special. This one's special. Yeah, that one's special. Ooh, that yeah, that one's special. Ooh, that's I can't a wear it every nice single day. One. That yeah. one's a nice one. She did she really good. Yeah, y'all came together. Yeah, you know. Only if you smell it, and that's where it smells is going. Yes, I don't, I don't switch up a lot of things. Okay, and then we are down to the sacks. Where did she get this from? I think it was um, uh, Brandon, uh, Flor de Mall. But this is another beautiful honeymoon, all white. I'm a bride. I'm a bride, Miles. Yep. I'm a bride. I'm a bride. I can't help it. What do you want me to like do? Like a bad flower? A flower of bad? Is that what it means? And then this is Papa, just Papa, what is Fleur de Mal? We're going to Rome. Hmm? We're going to Rome. And I'm going to write every single day. I'm going to write every it's single day. It's not a journal. Oh, it's not a journal? Okay, and my other one I'm gonna write, but in this one I'm going to read. It tells me what to do Open it up. when in Rome. Be careful with the book scene. When in Rome, do as the Romans. So we can learn, because I keep saying I wanna learn about Rome. Oh my God, I can learn from the beginning. I keep saying I want to learn, like I don't know shit about Rome. It should Tell also me. have like a day guide, like when you arrive, do this at eight. Do wow. This at 10, if you want to, sorry. Go well, ahead. we did have it planned out, but yeah. I think Rome is, we have, we have the cute most to days take in a Rome. photo of this beach yeah. on this the beach. Is this is my baby. Okay? Mm -hmm. That oh, chicken salad yeah. is good as hell, want. ain't it? Oh, that's nice. I love yeah, it. not you want it. Calm down, piggyback your ass up. No, I keep seeing the problem like, oh, like, Luxury gifts you can get and not break the bank. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and I got it. LA and New York. No, this is going to roll, and that is my booty, you guys. You guys, it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do a little bit of piggyback your ass. Oh, I'm going. Okay, she's trying to squeeze out my way. I appreciate you. Not girl, move. Okay, roll back. Uh, okay, vlog back home. Just packing up some orders for the wedding weekend instead of a regular, uh, what do you call it? Registry. Registry, we had people go to our wedding website, purchase some items um, with like, you know, custom wedding stuff. Um, candle warmers, cashmere socks, custom robe, and now we're just packing it up. And this is how we's looking. We're missing a couple of things, like all these people need candles, but we're gonna send those out after the wedding, so. Yeah, but this is just us up, packing orders for some of the folks coming to the wedding, yay. Some people even got these custom figurines for us, which we just think is hilarious. I love that. 